I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos, posting excellent remarks, and even sharing some questions. Here is a question from one of our subscribers, which is based on modeling of a real life situation. We'll use uh, sinusoidal functions to model this situation. I hope you all will find it interesting and useful. The question here is, a clock is mounted on a wall. The bottom of the clock is 240 centimeters from the floor. The minute hand is 12 centimeter long and it reaches all the way to the edge of the clock. Model the height of the minute hand as a sinusoidal function, right? So we need to model the height of this minute hand as a sinusoidal function. Assume the initial time to be 2.15 p.m. Discuss key features of the function. So, well, sinusoidal functions is another name for circular functions, correct? So, any periodic function like this can always be modeled using sinusoidal function. Let's try to sketch the scenario and then we'll move forward from there. So let us say that is the clock which is mounted on a wall and uh, let's say that this uh, distance from the floor is given to us uh, which is how much? 240. So this distance here uh, is 240, right? The needle itself is 12. So basically from the center, let me just uh, extend the center like this. Okay. So, so the center is at, uh, at 240 plus 12, which is 252, right? So this is at 252. Okay. The maximum will be where? The maximum will be 12 more, right? So which will be at 264 correct so those are the things minimum of course will be 240 right now as the minutes are moves in this direction it starts at 215 which is right there right so we are checking with minutes are so it goes down and then comes back to this so basically, we could represent this like a sinusoidal wave, right? So it goes down and then come back. So that is one, one full circle, correct? Now this cycle of one full circle will take how much time? Clearly, it is going to take, uh, if I have access here. So in that case, what we see, that it is going to start with t equals to zero, and this will end after 60 minutes, right? So that becomes your time period. Perfect. So from here, we know that the time period T is 60, right? Everything is in minutes, correct? And uh, from the time period, you can actually calculate the value of K, right? So we can have K, which will be 360 degrees divided by 60, and that gives you 6. So the value of k is 6. Now, the mounting itself is above the ground and the center is 252. So we have axis. Uh, so we can say the axis is at uh, uh, 252, right? 252. Now, amplitude is the distance from the axis. So the amplitude A will be length of the minutes are which is 12 units correct now we'll talk about phase shift as far as the phase shift is concerned you can see that the sinusoidal wave goes like negative so you can say half the cycle 30 right you could say that also basically uh, because the wave actually starts from here right 30 minutes so you can say 30 minutes or you can say that we'll use minus sine t, right? We can say that also, right? Since it goes negative. 
So I think with this we can write down our model. So at any instance of time the height over t will be given as negative we are using we will use uh, uh, negative since it goes in downward direction first the amplitude is 12 right so amplitude of 12 function we are using sine function k value is 6 right 60 and this particular axis is at 252 correct so that becomes the sinusoidal function which represents complete information about the height so here uh, h of t is height uh, where t equals to 0 corresponds to time as 2.45 pm is that clear to you right so this is kind of tricky so we have started not at 12 we have started at 2.45 pm right so then we get all the scenario so I hope the situation is absolutely clear to you, right? Now, uh, let's see how to work out some calculations based on the information given to us. If it is, if the time is, let us say, is 3 p.m., right? So 3 p.m. means the value of t will be what? It will be difference between 3 p.m. and uh, 2.15, so that would be 45. 45 minutes right so that time is in minutes so right so so if I substitute this then the height of the minutes arm at uh, we can say at 345 will be equal to we'll substitute here this value of 45 so we have minus 12 sine of uh, 6 times 45 plus 252 correct so let's calculate this, which is minus 12. Now 6 times 45 is 3 times 2, which means 3 times 90, which is 270, right? So minus 12 sine of 270 degrees, right? Uh, plus 252. Now sine of 270 is minus 1, so you get 12 plus 252, I mean 252, uh, which definitely is the maximum which is equal to uh, 264 right so that is absolutely correct so we have verified with one particular time that it really works but I hope uh, you have understood the whole concept how to go about getting the model from a given real life situation right so this height which we have shown here represents the height of the needle above the ground right this is above the ground the axis represents the mean value here right which is uh, uh, mean of the range so you can actually write uh, range in this case as between uh, these two points which is 240 to 264 perfect so that becomes the range. All of the parameters are already given to you uh, in the form of uh, developing this model. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.